You're watching ABC 7 News at 5 on your side. A new video made by a survivor of the Virginia Tech mass shooting is becoming an Internet sensation. And as Stephen Cheena tells us this evening, it's also sparking a debate over how easy it is to buy a gun in the Commonwealth. Stephen? Leon, he was shot four times and survived. Now Colin Goddard has gone undercover to unveil the ease with which you still can buy a gun in Virginia. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. What's the sound out for? Colin Goddard armed himself with a hidden camera to take aim at gun shows. Yes, sir. I think you got yourself a deal. He documents how easy it is to buy a gun from an unlicensed seller at gun shows across the country. If it's a private transfer, there is no background check. It's simply cash and carry. You can just pay your money, you can get your gun, and you can walk out, and no one's going to ask you any questions. This is exactly the problem that we want to stop. Yeah, I like the gun he bought. I wish I'd have been there. Larry Pratt of Gun Owners of America sees nothing new in Goddard's video, released by the pro-gun control group, the Brady Campaign. He says these transactions are perfectly legal. No. No, no laws broken. The, the Brady Campaign can't get it through their head that guns are not the problem, disarmed victims are the problem. Private sales, which require no waiting period or background checks, are legal in a majority of states, including Virginia. Only three. Maryland among them, regulate private transfers of guns. It's just frustrating to me to see how easy it is. Kathy Reed lost her stepdaughter Mary in the Virginia Tech rampage. Goddard's video stirs her outrage over the ease with which Sung Yi Cho was able to purchase his weapons. It's easier to buy a gun than to buy just about anything else. I mean, if you buy anything at the store, you have to pay taxes. You buy a gun at a gun show, you don't even pay taxes on it. I mean, there's something fundamentally wrong there. Colin Goddard bought numerous guns at shows in Minnesota, Ohio, and Virginia. All the weapons he bought, he turned over to police.